Cool, we have a real microphone here. Wow. Not bad. Crass a new microphone, yes. Hello. This is Shiva again and Jonathan, aka The Matrixers. Today's video is about telling you what three ways there are to leave the Matrix. Have fun. Have fun. Boys and girls, then today we want to tell you about the three options we have to leave the Matrix. One would be about the path of love. Then the way over the Matrix shell. And a third way would be through the loopholes. So these are the three ways to exit the Matrix. And yes, Shiva and I are now going through the three paths and you can then feel what might be the right or best path for you. Exactly. Then let's start with the way of love. I would say, yes. Shiva. The way of love everyone strives for that. The way of love. Basically, we all go there somehow. Across our lives. The cycle of reincarnation ends with this. That we end up in infinite love and can thus get out of the matrix. Because all people strive for love, but basically don't really know what it is. Yet she is everywhere. Only we don't know and we don't want to know either, because we deliberately camouflage them. And the more we shed that camouflage, the more the memory of the true self and who we really are, which is love, comes back. And with that, of course, the frequency, the vibrational frequency of the respective human being, of the being, increases, so high that one has ascended and can leave the matrix. Yes, you then go up through the astral planes to the level where you can get out. Exactly. And that goes beyond love. It's about love. What does it mean to go about love? Exactly love. They all present themselves as something beautiful, vibrating and full of light. But basically it is actually something very still, something very steady and calm. Something that is eternal. And in every cell, in every atom, in every act in all that is, exists. We are the only ones who came here on earth to separate ourselves from this love, to experience what it is like to feel separated from unity and from love. And basically, the key lies in all of us, namely that here in our true self only we don't want to see it at all. In the true self you can see that you don't really want it at all. Because you want to be here to feel. You want to experience the world. Experience the feelings. You want to be in the matrix to feel. But eventually, as the reincarnation cycle nears its end, you eventually get tired of all the experiences and feelings you've had and you want to look behind it all. When you start looking behind the camouflage, that is, behind what you feel, you feel the anger or you feel the fear and if you look behind what it's actually camouflaging you will find that when you've gone through everything, if you look behind it, there is only love there. There is nothing other than love. Everything else you just play or pretend so you can experience. You act like you're angry right now. I'm so angry now. But if you stop pretending and acting like you're angry right now, feel the anger through and see that in the end there's nothing but love, then. And that with everything, with everything that you are, with everything you do, i.e. living completely from the heart, then the camouflage falls step by step. And then you also remember more of the true self again, because the more you break the camouflage, the more you remember, the more you come into your true self, the more you feel the love. Because without camouflage there is only love. And at some point, when you have given up all camouflage and are only in love, then you vibrate so high that you have completed the incarnation cycle and can ascend. So this is the first way out of the matrix. 
This is the first way. How can one imagine this rise? Now. What does that look like? Yes, I've also seen what it looks like in a dream. And indeed one then ascends as light into the universe, into the free universe. At some point the body is so light, so high frequency, that you are really just a point of consciousness, a luminous point of consciousness that rises out of the matrix into the free universe. That's actually the path that everyone is walking, whether they know it or not. Someday they will know. I mean for the neighbors or the people walking around town etc. They are so in the matrix that they never think about it or don't even know that they are newly incarnated, that they have amnesia, cannot remember the others are alive, etc. And that they just don't know. They don't know, but eventually they will. Yes of course. After two or after one thousand la, eventually they all go the way, you're right. Well, I mean that everyone who then runs around out there and just doesn't know it, just go this way, this way, this incarnation cycle, that they reincarnate again and again in order to learn love, so to speak, or to reflect on love. You could almost say, or what would you say and just go through so many incarnations until they just get into this state where they can remember everything in love, can remember their true selves and then can ascend to leave the matrix? Exactly. Yes. Yes. So that is exiting the matrix via the completion of this reincarnation cycle and with ascension. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then tell us about the second way. Namely via the matrix hull. Exactly. So first I have to explain briefly what the matrix shell is. The matrix shell is a kind of tissue capsule that is all around us. Around every living being that exists is this capsule. And within this capsule one perceives the matrix. So, almost like in a one-man cinema, you sit in this egg and you can see everything on the inner wall of this egg or cocoon. All the lives you have or all the experiences you have in your everyday life. And then there is the second way, which then goes through this matrix shell. That is, the sequence would be, so to speak, that one first becomes aware of the knowing self of one's everyday self. It's also the case with ascent that it happens automatically later at some point. But if you want to get it done in this life, you could make yourself aware of this knowing self. And from that knowing self you can then eventually become aware that you are in the matrix shell, in this tissue egg. So this is real. It's built a lot like a spider's cocoon and is about an arm's length away. And then when you become aware of getting into that egg or to get into this tissue capsule, one can actually perceive oneself there. You then really perceive this matrix shell around you and it is very elastic. That means you can press against it. You can also drill a hole in it and the like. And as soon as you, how shall I put it, have managed to get there and are brave enough, then you can open this egg. And that's how you leave the matrix. And how can you achieve that you just get into the egg? This can be achieved through a very strong expansion of consciousness. This means that one would first have to become aware of all the personality aspects that make up one. Then one would have to become aware of all the dream selves that lead their lives in dreams. And from there you would have to gradually come to the wholeness of the self. And wholeness itself has access to this matrix shell. Exactly. And the best way to do that is through dissociation, right? Yes. 
So in my opinion this is only possible through dissociation. You have to dissociate for a very, very long time to get there. You have to dissociate for maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Pure dissociation in one go. So getting there is a difficult task, but also one that obviously speeds up the whole process. Yes, and once you have managed to get into this matrix, you can leave the matrix from there. Because when you tear open the matrix, you will first perceive absolute blackness. You've already noticed the blackness. And of course it's very scary. And it's also like a kind of barrier, I would say, where most people would just shy away. Especially since when you become aware of the state or get into the state of consciousness where you can perceive this tissue capsule, this matrix shell, you will also see when you see the descriptive films and pictures that you see on the inside of the cocoon. This tissue shell it can also be that they suddenly switch off and then everything is black. Then this matrix shell becomes transparent and then you can look through the shell and see that everything is black. And that blackness is the deepest black imaginable and it's very fruitful and very scary. The strongest fear I believe you will ever experience. Yes, it really is. Yes, it really is. The highest level of fear that you can actually experience. And whether one still has the courage to rip open the matrix shell is another question. Exactly. So I would say that it is a very difficult path. And yes, but it works. Perhaps one should tell why we are there or what exactly is in these cocoons. And how did we get in there? Why did we go in there or are we in there voluntarily? So the function or reason that every living being resides within this matrix shell is just to encapsulate consciousness. So it's an encapsulation of consciousness and that isolates consciousness from its true self, so to speak. And of course to come back to his true self or to free yourself from the matrix, you have to become aware of this matrix shell and then open it. So you mean, we were just captured or the souls and practically put into the cocoon so that we can play here within the matrix, because we're not really here at this table, we're basically there in this cocoon. Yes it is. I'm sitting here in my cocoon and Sue is sitting in your cocoon, right? Exactly. And when I look at you, I don't see you sitting in your cocoon. I only see you as a projection that you send me from your cocoon. I see on the inner wall. Exactly. You tell me yes, I am me. Shiva looks like this and I have such and such eye color and such and such a figure etc. And then it just appears on my inner wall. And it's all telepathic. And that works subconsciously telepathically, I would say. And then I'll do the same for you. I will then send you my picture of myself, what surroundings I have or where we are etc. And that's how we exchange ideas. We are just projections. Yes. So. You can say that, I guess, right? Yes. And the trick is to move so far into this state of consciousness, via dissociation, that you perceive this matrix shell. There are many terms for cocoon, as you say, or a, you can also say it for fun. Or tissue capsule, tissue cocoon or membrane. So there are probably many terms for it. Exactly. Sometimes you can even see it, the monitors, when you close your eyes. Sometimes you have such a short moment and then you have the feeling that you see monitors in front of you. At first, I thought, what is that? 
why am I seeing monitors? But I think that's the moment when you perceive from the cocoon for a fraction of a second. Do you think that can be the case? Yes, yes, it could well be that you see such an excerpt. A section of the matrix shell you are in. Yes, consciousness capsule was also a term and there are certainly many for it. And they really have the consistency of a spider cocoon. So I can't find anything else in our world that would match that in terms of weave tech. Well, I can also well imagine that the spider beings also created their part in the matrix and also played a part. Very possible. Not impossible. Because the spider cocoon association is very strong, even if it is thick. You can also see it in the film Matrix or I remember exactly. There are also the little spiders on these cocoons, so I think that seems to be somehow associated with it. So that's already a hard way, because you're really confronted with the deepest fears. And we already talked about that in the video Lichtfalle. That if people had to decide between a beautiful light that has a love-like frequency and a black nothing, then yes, they would. So you can guess what to choose. Yes. Yes, yes, then let's take the third route via the loopholes. After you die, you can make your choice. Light or black hole. The black portals that have arisen through the increasing consciousness and awakening of humanity in the matrix grid. And more and more rise, the more awaken. So people wake up. The more of these black loopholes arise. And if you really only have the possibility to use this black loophole, the short period of time between physical death and going into the light. Yes, that is the short span of time in which this opportunity can be seized. So don't go into the light, they say, but don't talk to anyone. Beings will approach you. They naturally want to have contact. They want to talk to you. They want to tell you the light is great. Come along and compare. Because they remind you of that, of the actual state of being, love. That's the way and that's why you don't talk to anyone. It's also best not to look at anyone. Look up to the side or where. Look for the loopholes and once you find one, don't think twice about it. Even if it looks creepy. Or threatening. Or scary. I shut and go for it. Exactly. And if you do meet the guards. You are spirit you are greater than anything else. You can make yourselves infinitely large and then because of everything they won't chase after you. You have free will, you can just go. And the fear when you go through these loopholes or through the matrix. The fear doesn't exist. After seeing that when you go through fear, you see that fear is just an illusion. It just doesn't exist. It was never there. All that exists is just love. And yes, as such, if you go in with awareness, no matter how scary it is, you don't exist. Then you're through. Then let's hope that whoever is at this crossroads remembers what you said. That's great. And yes, how should I put it? These black portals are of course also overlaid with a frequency. Of course, the matrix manufacturers disguised them like that. I would put it in quotation marks. And that's why you have to bring a lot of self-control with you and then you can go through the portal and then you get into the free universe. Then you are at least out of the matrix and from there you can orientate yourself further. I think that's it from us for today. Yes, we hope you enjoyed our video about the three ways out of the matrix. And of course we would be very happy to receive questions and comments.
Maybe you also have some information about it or a few thoughts about it. Yes, we would be very happy if you write a comment there. You can also support us with a link or a donation, if you would like. And yes, see you in the next video.